Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Devotions. I'm Pastor Tim Mason, the Associate Pastor here at Incarnation Lutheran Church, and I'm so very thankful to have this time with you tonight. Um, Tonight's devotional is entitled Faith, Seeing Better by Far, and it's inspired by Pastor Harvey Keekover. Um, The scripture reading that it's based off of comes from Philippians chapter 1, verses 20 to 26, but I'm only going to read parts of uh, verse 23. I, desi- I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. I'm going to tell you a true story, but this isn't the only story like it. Um, it's a story of what I have actually experienced many times as my calling as a pastor. And it goes like this. Um, I cautiously entered her room. There my elderly parishioner was lying, quilt tucked up under her chin. Silky white hair haloed her pale face, blending into the white pillow. She opened her eyes and a weak smile of recognition wrinkled her warm face. I thought I saw a face that had lived a long and beautiful yet sometimes very hard life. And you could see that in those wrinkles. I pulled up a chair and sat near her bed. She lifted her hand from under the quilt for me to hold as we chatted. It was honest talk, no pretense, just pure, honest, pure honesty prevailed. We both knew it as she was nearing death. I told her that I was sad that she was so weak and frail and that she was going to leave soon. Through some tears, I said, I'm really going to miss you. Turning her face toward me, she responded weakly, but clearly, I won't miss you, though. What? Was she joking? Um, Was she putting me down? Well, no. She wasn't joking, and she certainly wasn't putting me down. Her words were actually a deep expression of sincere faith. She believed that the Apostle Paul... She she believed that what the Apostle Paul wrote in our text for today, to depart and be with Christ is better by far. She knew that when death came, she would be free. She would be whole again. She was going to be with our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Her condition would then be far better than the weakness, the dependence, the sadness, and the pain she presently experienced. For her to live was Christ, so for her to die definitely would be gain. With a warm heart, I left her room. I had really seen genuine faith. I had seen strength in that very weak and frail child of God. How good to belong to God, from whose love nothing can separate us. It's true What awaits us is better, yes, better by far. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the words of faith and trust in you. As we age and at the end of our lives, help our faith to see, hear, and believe you as we pass. Amen. I hope those words are helpful. Like I said, that is not a rare experience for me. And I've experienced it many, many times. So faith is real, gang. And faith can be heard. Have a good evening.